March the 2nd, we're on Dartmoor and I'm just heading down to the workshop on Brint's farm which is just down there. So today we're making some work for Make Southwest. They've uh, placed a small order for us and we're going to make some products and they've also given me some shelves um, and this is what I'm going to use hopefully to make the product with. Obviously if I melt this it's too stiff and you can't really work it like studio glass so I'm going to mix it with ingredients and that's basically commercial waste glass plus harvested materials from the farm itself and um, what we can find um, on, well, from the earth basically and from our local environment. Obviously it's still, the, the bigger the piece then the more heat that's still in it. The small piece there, the heat's gone out of it so you get an idea of how cold it is. I might just push that off the marva. So we get a better idea of the colour. It's kind of bluey almost. Well, let's see what we make with this stuff then. So far, we've been working with recycled waste glass, where we've processed it to a degree to make that usable for artwork and uh, design work and so on, uh, massively reducing our costs, of course. Today is the first day that I'm taking out of the kiln glass that's been made with end-of-life building glass, window glass, float glass, the kind of stuff that isn't recycled. Because all the recycling that you see um, from lots of different companies around the world, they're all using container glass, old bottles, old glasses, things that have been designed um, uh, to drink out of, that kind of thing. It's so easy to melt that and make something. It's really difficult to uh, process and work with end-of-life building glass. And that is never recycled back into glass product. So only 70% of container glass is recycled no end of life glass is recycled. So I believe, um, I know there are people over in the States experimenting with, uh, with uh, bringing down the temperature and making the glass softer and so on. 
well, were the first production um, in this kiln behind me here from uh, float glass. So it's all come from our local area. This is about um, a circular economy and a green initiative, of course. So let's have a look. Um, our first tests were made me terrified, really, because uh, if the crucible stayed intact, the glass wasn't um, compatible and shattered into a million pieces. It just wasn't uh, stable. If the glass became more stable, um, the fluxes ate into the crucible and the crucible destroyed itself. So all the small scale tests I've been doing, or many of the small scale tests I've been doing have failed. But my hunch has always been that uh, I can make this work on a larger scale, and I think we have. So I'm going to open the kiln now, and I'm hoping everything's going to be intact. And what we have looks really good. This is what we have in our kiln. Two colours, starting off with green, and then moving on to a, a bluer, but it's kind of a blue-green really, because it's the same melt, I've just added other ingredients, so, okay. So here we have our kind of yield um, from the day's making. Um, these are our original designs that make stuff with, uh, I've ordered, but these are the new designs. Uh, thanks to my wife Yvonne for the idea. This is the yield, and um, there's also a few up here. We have the room. So I'm delighted. This is proper production for a small unit. Don't forget, this is only one person working without the system. So it's another step towards um, a sustainable workshop. Um, I want to say sustainable, I'm talking about financially sustainable if we want to make a living. Don't want to make a profit, just want to make a living uh, and be comfortable. Um, so we're doing this through design, through our actual designs so that we can make things that will actually sell. Uh, and we're doing it through technology in terms of the equipment itself and the um, digital um, fabrication we're using to make moulds and so on uh, and there's more to that more of that to come so I'm going to sign off very very happy with the first batch of our glass which is made from end-of-life building glass